I'm super excited today because tomorrow's the wait, last day. Wait, 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 did you tell him yet? Did you tell him? See how excited everyone is? Because tomorrow is the... Wait, wait, hold on, Ellie. Can I tell him, please? Sure, go ahead, Jimmy. All right, everyone, I'm about to say it. Tomorrow's the last day of school, the greatest day of the year. I'll see you at the pool. That's how I'm spending my summer. Ooh, I think I'm going to head there right now. Wee! But Jimmy, we still have a couple of assignments before the end of... Oh, that Jimmy. Boys and girls, if you want to see how we spend the last day of school, give me a big thumbs up. Let's do this. So the last assignment our teacher gave us was to go through our old school pack and clear it out. Now there's a lot in here from over the school year. Let's see what we got. Got plenty of books and textbooks from class. My trusty pencil case. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool, our harmonica. Oh, I'm definitely gonna keep this. This reminds me of the time that we all had to think of a song for the school talent show. No, no, that won't work. Hey, Jimmy, you look a little frustrated. What's up? I want to write a song for the school talent show, but I can't think of anything to write about. It's really hard. Yeah, writing is definitely super hard. Well, here's some advice that Coach Rocco once gave me. Write about something you like, or about someone who inspires you. Huh, that's a good idea, Ellie. You mean like a very good friend? Mm-hmm. Someone who's always there to cheer me up? Yeah. Someone really smart and really cool? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a cool person to write a song about. This is gonna be a great song. Thanks, Ellie. I can't wait for you to hear it. No problem. Hey, how's your talent show ideas coming? They're going really well, I think. Oh, Coach Rocco, I think that Jimmy's writing a song about me. <laughs> That's so cool. It's so hard to get him to do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be playing the ukulele. It's gonna be a really good time. Voila! My masterpiece is complete. This song is dedicated to someone very special to me. Ellie, give me an E. There's someone that I know from school. His name is Jimmy and he's cool. Well, he's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. And everybody knows he rules at basketball and Roblox too. If you don't like him, you're a fool. Cause he's cool. Everybody know Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. He's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. He likes to wear the color orange. Oh, oh no. Well, nothing rhymes with orange. But, but regardless, he is cool. And Jelly, you're okay too. Everyone, Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is cool! Uh, awesome! I think that might be the best song ever written. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Can you believe that Jimmy made a song all about himself? Wait, actually I can believe that. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Um, oh, cool! My paint brushes. Now I've used these guys for a lot of cool paintings over the years, but there is one from this past year that really stuck out. I wonder where our art teacher is. Class started five minutes ago and she's not here yet. Wait a minute, does that mean class is canceled? Can we go home? I'm here, I'm here, don't panic. Your regular art teacher called in sick today, so I'm gonna be taking over. I know I usually teach lunch and gym, but I think I'll be a pretty good substitute art teacher. Awesome, Coach Rocco, I didn't know you were an artist. So Coach Rocco, what are we gonna paint today? Maybe a seascape? Something from the Impressionist era? Will we be using acrylics or watercolors? Uh, an Impressionist what? <laughs> no, uh, I figured we could just get together and paint whatever makes us happy. That's a great idea, Coach Rocco. Paint what makes you happy. Okay. All right, and begin! All right, time's up. Now let's see your paintings. Ellie, what you got? All right, so I decided to go with some random shapes and some of my 
favorite colors that make me happy. Pink, yellow, and blue. And this is what I got. Hmm, that's called an abstract painting, Ellie. You know, the abstract style dates back to the early 1900s. Now me, I went for realism. As you can see, it's a self-portrait in the Da Vinci classic style, but with elements of, well, in terms of the common man, it's just me doing my Jimmy spin a -rooney. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Coach Rafa? Let's see your painting. Oh, no, you don't want to see this. I only show my paintings to my mother, Mama Rocco, because I'm her favorite artist. <laughs> No, no, you don't want to see this. No. Of Please, course we on. do. Class is almost over anyway. Oh, come on. We want to see it. We want to see what Mama Rock is going to hang up in her house. All right, all right. <laughs> don't laugh. It's a painting of Mama Rocco. Coach, that is amazing. Yeah, wow, Coach. I really love the realism style that you painted your mother with and the way it clashes with the more German expressionism style of the wilted flowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was going for. <laughs> but the most important question, Coach Rocco, is does it make you happy? You know what? It does. It really does make me happy. And I bet it'll make Mama Rocco happy as well. And that makes me the happiest of all. <laughs> I can't wait to show her. <laughs> Mama Rocco still has that painting hanging up. It just goes to show, you just gotta do what you love sometimes, you know? <laughs> now what else do I have in here? Nothing in there. Oh. <gasps> of course, my favorite, a PB&J. And that reminds me of the time that we had a school picnic. That was so much fun. Hey there, Coach Rocco. Hi, Ellie. Ooh, you baked a pie. Yep, I baked it specially for this picnic. It's apple. <laughs> Ooh, smells delicious and it's beautiful. <laughs> you know, I've been baking a lot lately. I've been baking cakes and But cookies. what's a picnic without a little basketball? Specifically, the Jimmy Spinneroony. <laughs> oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, no. You destroyed another pie. Oh, my pie. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know it was there. What are we gonna do now? Well, don't panic. I brought all the ingredients to bake another pie. There's yeah. sugar, and flour, huh? eggs in here, bowl, and- Wait a second. How are we gonna bake a pie out here without an oven? Well, I'm not gonna bring an oven to a picnic, silly. <laughs> Ooh, so what kind of pie should we make? Ooh, how about chocolate cream? No, Those I've, are my favorites. I've already decided I'm making a meringue. Well, we can't make any pies if there's no oven out here. You know, she might have a point, Coach Rocco. I know, let's make a cake instead. Well, I didn't bring any candles, Jimmy. Oh, come on, we can't even make a cake out here too. You know we bake cakes. Listen, I got some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that I made for myself. Mm. And I can share them all with you. Sounds pretty good. Mm. Ooh, there's some bugs out here. Ow. Wait a second. Jimmy, when you smash the pie, I think it attracted some ants! <laughs> Ellie Sparkles and happy Cinco de Mayo. That's the 5th of May in Spanish. And it's a very important holiday in Mexico. And I'm making this super cool treat. It's called cascarones. Basically, it's these eggshells that you can paint into your favorite characters. I call this one Senorita Sparkles. Isn't she pretty? And here's the best part. You're supposed to crack the cascarones over your head and out will come a special surprise. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna count to three in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, I think someone's at the door. That must be my Cinco de Mayo guest. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hi there, Jimmy. Hey, Ellie. Oh, wow, perfect. You brought the eggs. That'll be perfect for mine. And I bet I know just what we're using them for, too. Making scrambled eggs. Well, lucky for you, Jimmy is the best cook in the whole school. In fact, you can call me Chef Jimmy the Great. Uh-oh. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? <laughs> so let me get this straight. These eggs aren't for scrambling. They're for Cinco de Mayo? 
Yep, and Cinco de Mayo is a super important day in Mexico's history because that's the day when Mexico won the battle to save the town of Puebla in 1860. So now every 5th of May, we celebrate by eating delicious food and making these colorful cascarones. <laughs> and you'll like this. There's prizes hidden in my eggs, like candy, money, and even... <laughs> Robux cards? Well, I guess you could fit Robux cards in there. <laughs> Awesome! Oh, forget scrambled eggs. Give me a cascaroonie. Cascarones! <laughs> Jimmy, you can pick only one because I only made enough for one per person. Take your pick. Hmm, let's see. Not that one. I don't know about that one either. I'll take this one. This one definitely has the most Robux in it. <laughs> Good choice. Are you ready? Sparkle Squad, if you want to see Jimmy crack his cascaronis, give me a big thumbs up. And let's count down. Uno, dos, tres! Wait a minute. Candy corn? Guess you didn't get Robux in that one, Jimmy, but you did get a candy egg. Nice job! Wait a minute. No money? No Robux? Well, that one doesn't count. That was just practice. This one's the real one. Oh, come on, I want a Robux egg. I want a Robux egg. Jimmy! Oh, there's no prizes in these. Well, yeah, because I didn't finish putting prizes in them. And I only said one per person. Oh, Ellie, can I please get a do-over? Come on, since these were empty, they shouldn't count. <sighs> Come on, Jimmy, I'll make some more, and then I'll give you one at school tomorrow, okay? Oh, fine. But you know, I already used up all my Robux yesterday. I really just think I should get another one. <sighs> Green in the pool is so cool. I'm not too cool for school. Go Traco, go Traco! You're never gonna believe this. This is so unfair. Wait a minute. Are you even listening to me? Go Traco? Go Traco! Go Traco, you gotta come with me. At least making these super cool eggs for Cinco de Mayo. You mean cascaronas? Yeah. I love those. Yeah, yeah, cascaroonies. But these aren't just ordinary cascaroonies. These ones have money and Robux cards inside them. Huh. Leave it to Ellie to make the greatest treats. I better go over there and get one before she runs out. Wait, wait, you gotta take me with you. But you need to give me a disguise first. Are you trying to trick Ellie, Jimmy? I don't like the sound of this. No, 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 definitely not trying to trick Ellie. We're just trying to, you know, play a little game, a little Cinco de Mayo game. Yeah, that's right. A Cinco de Mayo game, interesting. I've never heard of it. Okay, I think I do have a disguise you can use. She'll never know it's you. <laughs> awesome, as long as she never recognizes me. That's the most important thing. So remember, you can't call me Jimmy either. We need to come up with a fake name. Timmy, Timmy. No, 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 not Timmy. That sounds too much like Jimmy. She'll know it's me for sure. It needs to be something that doesn't sound anything like Zimmy. Zimmy. No, no, not Zimmy, Zimmy not Zimmy. Like Zimmy? No, no, Kotrako, get off the Emmys. What about the squeeze? You have got the squeeze. Squeeze? All right, now I'm going to teach you how to make these cascaronis. It's a good thing that Jimmy brought some extra eggs. First of all, you're going to want to take your egg in a bowl or over the sink and something pointy like a paintbrush or a pen to start poking away at your egg. You're going to want to make two holes. And you poke it. And once your egg is dry, you're going to stuff it with all your favorite surprises. Now you can put so many different things in there, like candy corn, or money, or confetti. I'm going to start with confetti. And once you're done, you plug up the holes and you get started on decorating. Now you can paint them any way you like. You can paint them to look like your favorite characters or put different patterns on them. But I'm going to start making an emoji on mine. So let's get some yellow paint. And just make sure you glue it on nice and tight. And there you go. Your finished cascarone. <laughs> oh, another Cinco de Mayo guest. I wonder who that is. Draco? Happy Cinco de Mayo! <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo to you too! Oh, and who's your friend? Uh, this is my cousin, Bimmy. Oh, Bimmy? Huh, that's an interesting name. So, Bimmy, you look somewhat familiar. Do you go to my school? Uh, 
No, I go to a school someplace far away. Okay. Well, you two have come to the right place. I've got all the Cinco de Mayo festivities ready. Come on in. So I've been making food all day. I've got nachos, guacamole, tacos, more nachos. Ooh, I love nachos. But do you have peanut butter? That's my favorite treat, peanut butter nachos. <laughs> what about party favors? You can't have a Cinco de Mayo party without party favors. Ooh, party favors. You'll be excited to hear about this. I've been making this treat called a cascarone. Oh, yeah, I think they're called cascaroonies, actually. Uh, no, pretty sure they're called cascarones. <sighs> And here you go. These are two I just made. One for you, Coach Rocco, and one for you, Bimmy. Oh, and since I'm the adult, I get to go first. Oh, by the way, there's some special surprises in there. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Uno, dos, tres! Let's see what I got, let's see what I got. A Roblox gift certificate. Good for 500 Robux. <laughs> awesome job, Coach Rocco. That's one of the rare ones. Oh, my turn. Bimmy's turn now. Ready? Uno, Uno dos. Bimmy! What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> you got candy corn. You're so lucky. It's delicious. Candy corn? Candy corn? You got 500 Robux and I got candy corn? Uh, happy single to Mayo, guys. Oh, it's not about what's inside the cascarones. It's about spreading the holiday cheer. Right you are, Ellie. And I'm sure Coach Rocco will want to spread the holiday cheer by switching prizes with me. No, actually, I, I like this because I don't know what Roblox is, but it sounds really cool. <laughs> I'm sure you like this candy corn better, Coach Rocco. Besides, I'm the best Roblox player in the whole school. I got the high score in Adopt Me. The high score in Adopt Me? Wait a second, I think I know who this is. Oh no! Jimmy! I should have known that you were trying to get another cascarones. Uh-oh. Remember, Coach Rocco, how I said that this was a game? Well, game over. Uh, Jimmy! <laughs> so can you teach me about this Roblox thing? Like, is it Roblox or Robux? What is so Robux is the money inside Roblox, and you can use the money to get all sorts of different treats and things, like clothes or pets or things for your house, or, and, you know, things like that. I love superhero movies. <laughs> Coach Rocco, you should watch a superhero movie with us. Oh, I'd love to sit here and watch TV all day, but it's cleaning day, huh? And this place is a mess, but you can help me when it's all over. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, not cleaning day. I bet superheroes never have to do chores. Hm. Ellie, do you have any idea how somebody might become a superhero? Well, in the movies we've seen, you could come from outer space or get bit by a spider. But that's all make-believe. You know you can't get out of chores on cleaning day. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. I'll never be a superhero. May as well get the chores over with. Whoa! Something just touched my arm! Oh, sorry, Jimmy. It was probably my just Spider! It was definitely a spider. No, Jimmy, it was definitely coaching... Spider bite! I know it was a spider bite, and I can already feel it giving me superpowers. Oh, don't be silly, Jimmy. You know it's not real. <laughs> oh, yeah? I can prove that it's real. My superpowers are telling me that Coach Rocco is about to come in and say, Okay, you two, it's time to start cleaning. Okay, you two, it's time to start cleaning. Come on. It's real. It's real. I knew it was real. I'm a superhero. And I can't wait to figure out what other superpowers I have. Here he comes to save the day. Get back here, Jimmy. Coach, it's going to be a long day today. If I know Jimmy, he's going to be on this for a really long time. Boys and girls, if you want to see Jimmy be a superhero, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> Let's get to some choice. Phew, Coach Rocco, we've been raking for a really long time. Oh, yeah, and we got tons more left. But good job, Ellie. Thank you. You know, this would go a lot faster if we had somebody else to help. Did somebody say help? Yeah, Jimmy. I was just saying how you should help us rake. Yeah, here, have a rake. Aw, uh, no thanks, Coach Rocco. This calls for someone special. In fact, this is a job for... 
Super Jimmy! Ta-da! Jimmy, are you still on that superhero thing again? It is I, Super Jimmy, the bravest and strongest superhero in the world, and I'm here to save the day. And who's that with you? This is Stinky Boy, the strongest skunk in all the forest. Every superhero has a sidekick. Haven't you ever read a comic book? All right, everybody, grab a rake and start going. No can do, Ellie, because this is a job for Super Jimmy. Here, Coach Rocco, hold my skunk. Activate Super Speed Aruni. Mission accomplished! All the leaves have been returned to their original positions, just as requested. Jimmy, what did you do? We spent all day raking these leaves and now you've just gone and messed it all up. I hope you and Stinky Boy have the superpowers to clean up this mess. You're in for a long day of cleaning, Stinky. Ah! <laughs> well, no need to thank me, trusted citizens. My work here is done. Now I'm off to save the day elsewhere. Super Jimmy! Da -da 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 -da! All right, come on in, coach. Let's get you cleaned up. Stinky Boy did a good number on you, huh? Yes, right up the nose. Ugh. Do you need some milk for those eyes? I finally finished all my chores for today, and that means homework time. Now for art class, I'm supposed to be making my own costume out of construction paper. Well, I've got the construction paper here, and I'm gonna make a witch's hat. Just gotta snip, snip, snip. Hmm, what's Ellie doing in there? Wow, that's a lot of construction paper. And you know what happens when there's a lot of paper. That's right, paper cuts. Oh no, Ellie's a goner. She's done for. Someone's gotta save her. This looks like a job for Super Jimmy and his trusty sidekick, Stinky Boy. I'll save you, Ellie. No. <laughs> Super Jimmy, you two save the day. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? Oh, by the way, Coach Rocco has been looking for you all day ever since you messed up his lawn with all the leaves. Hold that thought, Ellie. My Super Jimmy senses are telling me that you are in danger of receiving a paper cut. Here, hold my skunk. Huh? Activate Super Jimmy muscles! Jimmy, what did you do that for? That was my homework! <laughs> no need to thank me, Ellie. No more paper, no more paper cut. All right, I'm off to save the day. Elsewhere, see you around, Ellie. Huh? Jimmy, you love Stinky here too. Good Stinky. Don't do anything bad, Stinky. I'll get you a treat from Ellie's drawer. This Jimmy superhero thing's getting out of control. We need to think of something. Tell me about it, Coach. He ruined my project, threw out my lunch, and made chore day way harder than it has to be. But don't worry, I have a plan. Just follow my lead. Help! I need a strong, brave superhero! Is there anyone like that around here? I think he's coming. <laughs> okay. Did somebody say Super Jimmy? Ooh, and his trusty sidekick, Stinky Boy, to the rescue. Just what I needed, and just like in my favorite comic book ever, Super Jimmy Volume 1. What? They made a comic book about me? Oh, here, Coach Rocco, hold my skunk. That's so cool. About time. Yep, it has everything about your story. How you clean the leaves on the lawn, how you prevented me from getting a paper cut. How you stopped us from eating a delicious dinner I was cooking all day. <laughs> My greatest hits, how could I forget? And it even has information about your super secret superhero weakness. Superhero weakness? 
What's that? No, no, no. Jimmy's the strongest hero in the whole world. I don't need a weakness. But every superhero has a weakness. You know, something that takes away its superpowers. Huh, well, uh, I'm not gonna sweat it. You know, besides, whatever my superhero weakness happens to be, I just have to avoid it and I'll be fine, right? Okay, tell me, what's my weakness? Well, according to volume one, your weakness is... Basketball. Basketball? But how can that be? It's been my life's mission and my greatest dream to bring the Jimmy Spinneroonie to the entire world. Well, you're just gonna have to choose saving the day or basketball. <sighs> All right, stinky boy. This is gonna be our greatest challenge yet. We have to choose. Superhero or Spinneroonie? Superhero, Spinneroonie. Superhero, Spinneroonie. Ah, don't make me choose. Making his grand return to the Superstar Basketball League, it's Jimmy! And his famous Jimmy spin a -Rudy. Woo! It's a good thing that Jimmy chose basketball. I don't know how much a Super Jimmy could have taken. Huh? Nice to have things back to normal. Good old regular Jimmy is the best Jimmy. I learned that even though I can't be a superhero, I can still be a superstar. <laughs> Ah, my turn, my turn. <laughs> do spin a rooney, do spin a rooney. Super spin a rooney. Woo! Yeah, right. <laughs> Eat my dust, Jimmy! Ellie wins by nose. Good race, Jimmy. Yeah, good race. What do you say we do a rematch? Starting now. Hey, I'm not fair. Hold on a second. What was that noise? Well, I sure hope that was your stomach rumbling. <laughs> No, definitely not my stomach. I think it came from the barn. Let's check it out. Oh. Hello? Hello. Is anyone in there? It's just me and Jimmy. Can we come in? Oh, see, just like I told you, it's probably nothing. If anything, it's just a, uh, a ghost. Ah! Jimmy, what? Ghost, 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 oh, major spooky time. We have to hide. My trusty blankie will protect us. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are we sure that there's a ghost out there? It could have been anything. What if it was an animal inside the barn? Are your ears working? That was definitely a ghost. I can still hear the sound it made. Ooh, ooh, yikes. Fine, if it was a ghost, we can't hide under the trusty blankie forever. Plus, we left our scooters by the barn. We're gonna have to go out there eventually and get them. We are gonna have to go? As in Ellie and Jimmy? No, thank you. I am quite content where I am, thank you very much. The ghost can have my scooter. You hear that, Mr. Ghost? The scooter's all yours. All right, it looks like I'm gonna have to go get both of the scooters by myself. Hmm, yeah. Sounds good to me. In fact, I think that might actually be your best plan ever. I'll be on lookout here while you go get the scooters. Oh, wonderful. You stay right here while I go outside with the ghost. Whatever happened to, I'm Jimmy, the bravest boy in school. Well, hey, I'm still the bravest boy in school. I'll just have to show you next time, that's all. Fine, next time. I'll be on the lookout. Oh man, please work. <laughs> This will be no problem, boys and girls. All we have to do is pick up the scooters and then leave. Okay. Almost there. I don't know why Jimmy was so scared to do this. <laughs> Got them, yes. Maybe I should check on the barn again. I'm sure it's nothing. Maybe it's just butters. Oh, or Jimmy's pet skunk Stinky. Wait, why are you turning around? Hello? Is anyone in there? Butters! <laughs> what happened? What happened? Okay, Jimmy, so you may have been right about the ghost. I think I just heard the spooky sound again. The spooky sound? Oh no! The woo woo Rooney! Yeah, except no, it didn't sound anything like that. But I think I also saw something as well. Oh no, you saw the ghost. That means it's definitely real. What did it look like? Was it floating in the air or was it walking on the ground? Well, I don't really know. It was only there for a split second, but it was green and that's it. And then I ran away.
away because I was scared off. Oh, green ghosts. Those are the scariest kind. Oh, we're done for. Oh, and one more thing, Jimmy. I kind of left the scooters there. Oh, don't worry about that. At this point, we just need to accept that our scooters are gone forever. In fact, I have an idea. What do you say we start writing our Christmas list for next year? Let's ask Santa for brand new scooters. Hold on, Jimmy. You said that you were going to show me you were a brave boy next time. Well, this is that next time. Why don't you go out there and save our scooters? Give it a shot. You want me to go out there all by myself and face the ghost? <sighs> all right, fine. But just so you know, I was going to ask Santa for extra fast scooters this year, so you can just forget about that. All right, good luck, Jimmy. And I'm going to be right here holding down the fort. Okay. Hey, Jimmy, what happened to the bravest boy in school? I'll tell you what happened to the bravest boy in school. He's right here, and he's going to save the day and save the scooters with his patented ghost catcher Rooney. Now, it may look like a pool skimmer, but that's by design. Don't want the ghost catching on. Almost there. Hello, Mr. Ghost? It's just me, your old pal Jimmy, friend to all ghosts and ghostly spirits. I'd just sure like to get my scooter, if that's okay with you. Say nothing if it's okay. You got this, Jimmy. <laughs> what was I worried about? Ellie probably just heard the wind or something. Or, or, or a big spooky ghost. Ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. <gasps> Barn, ghost, scary. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, slow down. Tell me what happened. Well, there's a big green scary ghost in the barn. It's going to get us. Oh, just like you said, Blinky. Oh, no, not the Blinky again. All right, it looks like we're going to have to defeat this ghost once and for all together. Come on, Jimmy, let's go. Jimmy, are you ready for the plan? Oh, as ready as I'll ever be. Can you tell me the plan one more time? Okay, so we're gonna take this bologna sandwich, put it in front of the barn to lure the ghost out, and when it comes out, we're gonna spray it with our anti-ghost spray. <sighs> All right, I sure hope this works. Oh, don't worry, it will. Okay. Quick, hide! I think I hear the ghost coming now. Okay, I'm gonna jump out on the count of three. Three, two, one. I'm out of here. Ah! Oh! Oh, Ellie, gosh. you got silly string all over my bologna sandwich. I'm sorry, coach. Wait, were you the ghost the entire time? Ghost, where? Well, we heard this really, really weird noise, Jimmy and I, like, woo. Oh, well, that wasn't a ghost. That was me practicing my yodeling. You see, the annual yodeling contest is in a week, and I want to make sure my yodels are in check. Phew, that's a relief. Me and Jimmy thought it was a real ghost. Well, he'll be glad to hear it's not. Yeah, I didn't want to disturb you, so I came to the barn, but looks like I ended up scaring you. <laughs> Okay, Coach. Looks like ghosts aren't real after all. Yep, but since I have you here, maybe you could tell me how my yodels sound, all right? Ready? Oh no, the ghost! I'll save you, Ellie! <laughs> Coach Rocco! Leave it! Oh, come on in, Jimmy. You're welcome here any time. Uh, what could be so important? This is what's so important. Look what came in the mail today. It's so unfair. What is this, an award or something? Ellie, did you win the science fair and you didn't tell me? <laughs> science fair? You think that this is a science fair award? Coach Rocco, do you really not know what this is? This is my gold YouTube play button. That means that I got one million subscribers on my YouTube channel. I still can't believe it. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. See, if you put your mind to something, you can accomplish anything. Oh, yeah? Well, I have a YouTube channel too, you know. So how is it that Ellie has one million subscribers and I'm stuck on... Six. Six 
subscribers. I don't get it. Who wouldn't want to watch the Jimmy YouTube channel with all my natural charm and charisma rude? Well, Jimmy, having a YouTube channel is really, really difficult, actually. You have to plan the video, film it, edit it, and do it over and over again. You know it's a lot of hard work. Hmm, so what you're saying is, to get a million subscribers on YouTube, I need to put in a lot of hard work. Or, just be naturally totally awesome like I am, and I'll be successful that way. I think I'll pick the second option. You know what, Ellie? I think I can do this. Meet me in the gaming room in five minutes with all your gear. One million subscribers, here I come! Jimmy, you still have chores to do! Jimmy, it's not gonna be as easy as you think! Boys and girls, if you wanna watch what Jimmy does with his channel, give me a big thumbs up! And perfect. Ellie, Ellie, come on, come sit down. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? You playing Roblox? And we are going live in three, Wait, no, two, one, ready. go. What's up, Jim Rooney's? Welcome to Jimmy's brand new YouTube channel, the greatest channel in history. Can you believe that? And I brought along my friend Ellie Sparkles to assist me. She's pretty good at Roblox too. Maybe the second or third best player in the world. After me, of course. Well, Ellie, say hello to all the nice Jimmaroonies out there. Hey, everyone. Did you call them the Jimmaroonies? Yeah, that's what I call my fans. All right, everyone, let's get to playing. Okay. Let's play some Roblox. Ooh. All right, so we will start out in my garage, and then I will lead you into Casa El Jimmy. Yes, the coolest house in all of Roblox. See my stairs, and my kitchen, mm -hmm. and my bedroom. You know, I had to work really hard to get all the Roblox to make this house just right. Oh, yeah. I know you got a lot of Robux. Mmm. Everyone, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you start commenting. Kotraka, are you dusting the dishes? Look how dusty they got already. Oh, well, Kotraka, could you please do this later or clean something more quietly? I'm trying to make a YouTube video, remember? One million subscribers? Yes, sir. I forgot. I'll dust something else. Sorry. Okay, let's get back to it, Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry about the technical difficulties there, everyone. Let's get back to playing. Time to show you my brand new indoor swimming pool. I built this baby in my dining room, so now I can jump from my bed into my swimming pool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, Rocco, what are you doing? I told you to stop dusting. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm just dusting the computer table. Just take a second, you won't even notice I'm here. Oh, Rocco, it's gonna get in the middle Look, of the video. Look, you don't wanna dust. Oh, all the time. I think your fans are leaving the stream. Oh no. Don't go anywhere, Jimaroonies. Please don't go. Uh, we can play around, Coach Rocco. Come on, come on. Don't, no, stick around. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, man. See? Clean as a whistle. <laughs> you know, that Roblox video was actually pretty cool, Jimmy. I know. I was probably this close to getting one million Jimaroonie subscribers. <sighs> Coach Rocco had to ruin it with his dusting. Lucky for me, though, I'm so talented that there are so many other things I can show to my audience. Hey, maybe you should do a math channel and teach math to all your Jim Aroonies. <laughs> ha ha, very funny, Ellie, but that's a big no thank you. Instead, I think I'll move on to my next talent. <laughs> Music and guitar. I'm going to sing and play guitar for everyone. All right, you ready? Oh, you bet. Wait, we're gonna go live, okay? So you wanna practice first? No, 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 I thrive on improvisation. Let's go. One, two, three. Jimmy is the best and he doesn't know how to play this song. Yeah, I think this one needs a little more fine tuning. But you know, this song actually, I've been working on for a while and I think it's actually totally awesome, totally awesome. Yeah, totally awesome. This song is totally awesome. And we all know that Jimmy's really cool and he's the greatest kid in the whole school. And if you don't like him, you're a fool. Because he is so very cool and he's totally awesome. Yeah, you just love totally it. Totally awesome. Yeah, totally awesome. <laughs> totally awesome. Coach Rocco, you're song with your vacuuming. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Let's do that vacuuming song. Come on. I don't want to do Come the on, vacuuming song. Ellie hasn't heard song. it yet. Come on, it'll just take a second. Do it for the viewers, Jimmy. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. This is the vacuum song. This song isn't very long. You want to vacuum your shelves. You want to vacuum your boxes. Okay, okay, cut, 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 cut. I 
everybody left the live stream. Sorry, Jimmy. I knew this would happen. Nobody wants to sing songs about vacuuming. Guess I'm back to singing the blues. I got the blues. I got the YouTube blues. Still got the blues. Still got the YouTube blues. Hey, Jimmy. You feeling better? Got any new ideas for the new channel video? Oh, let's face it. Every time I come up with a new idea, Coach Rocco is just always gonna be there cleaning to ruin it. Huh, I'll never get a YouTube play button like you. I guess I just have to accept that the only thing I'm really good at is the old Jimmy Spinaroonie. Jimmy, that's it, the Spinaroonie. Why don't you teach your Jimmaroonies how to do the Spinaroonie? Come on. Oh. Are you ready, Jimmy? And we're live. Hi everyone, it's me, Ellie Sparkles, and I'm one of Jimmy's bestest friends. Have you ever wanted to do a spin a in gym class but didn't know how? Well, now you will, because Jimmy's hosting an all-exclusive workshop on how to do the spin a and it's right here, right now. Let's do this. Hello, world, and hello to all you special gym It's your lucky day, because today I'll be teaching you how to do the hottest new basketball move, the Jimmy spin a -rooney. Step one, do a bunch of dribbling. Really pound that ground. Once you have the basketball in your hands, you're gonna wanna do three big spins. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And then once that's done, you go in for the Rooney and make sure you yell as loud as you can, spin a Rooney! The crowd goes wild! Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy! And that's how it's done. <laughs> and cut. That was awesome, Jimmy. You're bound to get a million subscribers now. Ooh, what's my number at? Am I at a million? Oh, let's see. Looks like you're at 200. 200? Do you realize what this means? All right, all 200 of you Jimmaroonies, I have a very special assignment for you. You each have to tell 5,000 of your closest friends about this channel. And as your reward, I'll do a very special new Spinneroonie for you. It's called the One Million Dollar Dunk. Woo! Oh, no. Do I hear vacuuming? Coach Rocco, not again. <laughs> oh, well, somebody's got a vacuum out here. Look how dusty it is. It's a whole <laughs> world of dust. <laughs> and you know what dust is made out of? It's old skin. <laughs> yeah, that could give you allergies. Allergies is Mother's Nature's way of saying, you need to clean your dirty house. <laughs> cut, cut, And everywhere cut. is a dirty house. Coach, it? maybe you should do your own cleaning channel. <gasps> what a great... Yeah. Let's do it now. Oh, okay. Hello, all you Coachalinos. Welcome to Rocco's Cleaning Channel. <laughs> Bend at the knees here and then. Getting ready for another video. Today, I'm going to show Ellie, you how to. Ellie, guess what? What's up, Coach Rocco? Hi. Guess who's going to be the next big YouTube star? Okay, I can't wait for you to guess. Me, I'm going to be the next YouTube star. <laughs> awesome. Cut, cut, cut. Coach Rocco, it's my camera, and you can't just walk into shot like that. Jimmy, what are you doing here? I'm Ellie's cameraman for today. It's me, Director Jimmy, reporting for duty. Wait a minute, did one of those lights go out? Oh, I gotta check these. Director's work is never done. Yep, Jimmy's helping me film one of my videos. But that's okay, I'm really excited for you, Coach Rocco. What's your video gonna be about? Well, that's why I'm here, I need your help. I tried doing a Roblox channel, but I couldn't get the things to run, or I couldn't get them to talk, or I, well, I couldn't figure out anything. So I figured you could help me figure out what I should make my channel about. Hmm, let's see, well, it doesn't matter that you're not good at Roblox because you can put anything on YouTube. What are you good at? Well, uh, I am good at cleaning the pool, so maybe I could make a channel that's Coach Rocco's Cleaning the Pool channel. Um, Coach Rocco, it also has to be something interesting. Tell you what, why don't we figure out what your special talent is and then we'll film a video. All right. Good. Cool. Awesome. I'm going to be the next YouTube star. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you want to help Coach Rocco film his video, give me a big thumbs up. Ellie, 
Ellie, I have an idea. My father was a singer and my mother is a dancer, so maybe I got some of those Rocco jeans. Maybe we do a channel that's singing and dancing. That's a great idea, Coach Rocco. There are plenty of YouTube channels like that. All right, Jimmy, you ready? Yup, three, two, one, action. Hello, Spark, I mean, uh, Coach Alinos. Uh, welcome to the Coach Rocco Show. We're here with my bestest friend, Ellie! Hit it, Ellie! Okay, um, let's see, we're gonna be singing a song about pool skimming! Um, cleaning the pool is so cool. Cleaning the pool is so cool. Cleaning the pool, I'm cleaning the pool. I'm cleaning the pool, cause I'm cool. I'm clean. Cut, cut, cut. Oof. That was awesome, Coach Rocco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Did I get a million hits yet? Uh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, so the views aren't exactly rolling in right now, but we still have plenty of ideas left to try out for the Rocco channel. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello there, Sparkle Squad, and welcome. No, 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 Coach Rocco. You don't call your viewers Sparkle Squad. That's what I call my viewers. Oh. You're your own person. So be yourself and pick a name for all your fans out there. Okay, uh, the... Hello there, Coach Cadets, and welcome to the Coach Rocco channel. Um, has it been eight minutes yet? Has it been? Um, no. Just keep going. My friend Ellie here is going to teach us uh, science. Yeah, that's right, Coach Rocco. Hi there, boys and girls. My name is Ellie Sparkles, and we're going to make elephant slime today. Do you like getting messy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like science? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> then this will be the perfect experiment for you. First of all, put on your goggles. Oh, yours are already on, Coach Rocco. Well done. All right. First, you're going to get a tablespoon of dish liquid. You're going to put your funnel over your bottle to make sure there's no messes. Put your dish liquid in there, as well as your hydrogen peroxide. Oh, before I handle the hydrogen peroxide, I gotta have my gloves on first. Now to put in the hydrogen peroxide. If you have an adult, make sure they're doing this step with you. Awesome! Now to mix it all up. Look at how foamy it got. You're going to have to get one tablespoon of yeast and put it in a bowl. And get three tablespoons of warm water. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! <gasps> oh. Whoa! Look at it go! <laughs> Whoa! That was super messy and super fun. All right, Coach Rocco, how are you doing over there? Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna. Put the, I don't want to waste a bunch of yeast, and I don't like the way it smells, so I'm going to put my own ingredients here. Um, okay. It'll work. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to put this for the elephant toothpaste. Toothpaste. It's coming, it's coming. See, it, it didn't work, did it? didn't work. I don't think I'm so much into this science thing and even less of the making of the messes. I think I'm gonna take your advice and do something that I like, something I'm good at. I think that's a great idea and there's plenty of ideas to try out. Let's go. And cut. <sighs> hey, 
Coach, how you feeling? Hey, Ellie, I don't think I'm good at anything. I don't think I'll be the next YouTube star. Nonsense, Coach Rocco. We just haven't found a talent of yours that translates into a great YouTube channel. Me and Jimmy will find your niche in no time. Just well, stay positive. Yeah, maybe I'll stay positive. But you know, one thing I am good at is chores. And that's something we forgot to do with all this YouTube stuff. So let's go, meet me in the gym. Oh, oh man. Okay. Come on. This gym is super messy. We've been neglecting our chores. I'm hoping you two will help me organize it. Jimmy, you put those weights back up there. And Ellie, if you could put these boxes together. And I'll deal with these big weights back here. Now be careful, those are heavy. Oh, Coach, you weren't kidding. These weights really are heavy. I can barely move them. Yes, yes, let me get to it. Don't want you to hurt yourself. I just lift like this. See, look at those Rocco muscles there. <laughs> Coach, you're gonna have to help me with this box. It's super heavy too. All right, here, let, let me do it. Let me do it. I'm good at this now. You bend at the knees, and then you push up. Ah, there you go. Huh. Well, that's how you do it. Come to think of it, that's what I'm good at. I'm good at lifting things. And I'm good at exercising. Look, jumping jacks. And I can run in place. That's awesome, Coach Rocco. You'll have the best exercise YouTube channel around. With a little bit of patience and perseverance, I knew you would find your niche. <laughs> I'm going to be the next YouTube star! <laughs> All right, let's start filming. Three, two, one, action. Hello there, Coachalinos, and welcome to the Coach Rocco channel. Today, I'm going to teach you some great exercises, but let's start with some stretching. <laughs> now, first, stretch up to the sky real high. Now, stretch down low to your toes. You know, science class has been really fun lately. My teacher has been teaching us ways in which we can save the environment. Hmm. She even gives an assignment so that we can save the environment from home. Hey, what's that noise? Hey, why are all these things running? Anyone in here? I can't believe all those sinks are running. We learned in school that one sink uses up one gallon of water per minute. That's a lot of water wasted. Hey, is my water blaster full yet? Jimmy, were you running all these sinks so that you could fill your water blaster? No, no, I was also filling up my water balloons. Perfect. And I was washing my soccer ball. See, good as new. Thanks, water. And besides, what are you worried about anyway? Haven't you ever looked at a map? Look at how big our oceans are. We got the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Santa Maria. Some of them are even bigger than entire countries. Well, sure, the oceans are huge, but not much of that water is actually drinkable. Only 1%. You know, people need to drink fresh water, not salt water, and that's what most of the water on the Earth is. Huh, I guess I didn't know that. I just knew that every time I turned the sink on, I could have as much water as I wanted, but if there's really only 1%, then I guess I gotta be more careful about how much water I use. How do you know all this science stuff anyway? In science class? The one you sit next to me in? In the science class where we have our Save the Environment homework assignment due tomorrow? Wait a minute, we have homework due tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. Uh-oh, gotta go. Oh, I completely forgot about my science homework. How am I gonna think of an idea that helps save the environment? Ooh, I've got an idea. I could do spin -roonies for charity. People could pledge money, and for every donator, I would do a famous Jimmy spin -roonie. Yeah, we'll call it Save the earth a with a little spin -a so that the Earth can keep spinning. a -roonie. I'll think of the name later. Yeah, that might work. Actually, now that I think about it, I pretty much did the same thing for my English project last year, and I got a D minus on it. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Hmm, maybe if I did something with my scooter, 
for my bicycle. Bicycle. Recyclables. Yeah, that's it. I'll come up with a new system that will revolutionize recycling. It could even save the earth. Oh boy, I'm gonna get an A plus on this for sure. And even better, I'll be rich. Perfect. Hey, Jimmy, what you doing? Coach Rocco, just the person I wanted to see. I've been working on my science homework. Ellie and I have been learning about recycling all week in school, and I developed a foolproof new system that's gonna save the environment, maybe the whole world. I'm so proud of you and Ellie taking the initiative to save the environment. How does it work? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, hey, hey. Guys. Hey, Ellie, you're gonna wanna hear this too because soon it's gonna be everywhere. So I developed a three bag system. And before you ask, you can't just put all kinds of garbage into all kinds of bags. Every bag has a very specific use. For example, the blue bag here, you can only put blue garbage into it. So for example, this uh, blue marker. And in the red bag, you can only put red garbage, like this red party hat. And in the green bag, yep, you guessed it, only green garbage, like this line here. Any questions? Um, Jimmy, I don't think this is how we learned about recycling in class. Yeah, e Ellie's right. What if the garbage isn't one of these colors and it's purple like this balloon? I thought you might ask that. Well, stick around, fellas, because my plan has a solution for that problem, too. If the color isn't one of these main three colors, you just have to do a little mix and matching. Like in the case of purple, blue and red combined make purple. So you just have to put half the balloon in one of the bins and half of the balloon in the other bins, like this. <laughs> See, half in there and half in there. Any more questions, doubters? Wow, it makes perfect sense. Ellie, you ready to recycle? Um, not exactly. You see, you don't have to match the colors of the recycling bins with the color of the garbage. You have to match the recycling bins to the type of garbage it is. So, the blue bin is for plastic. The red bin is for cans and glass. And then the green bin is for paper. So, you would actually put everything else that doesn't match up with those categories in your regular kitchen garbage bin. Oh. That makes sense. Because come to think about it, I wasn't really sure what to do with this cookie here. Hey, wait a minute. This is a perfectly good cookie. Why would I be throwing it out anyway? Well, did you find that one under your bed, Jimmy? It's only been there since Tuesday. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I got your favorite sour cream and onion. Come here, kitty, kitty. Here you go. Hey, Coach, what are you up to? Oh, I'm feeding the kitten that lives in our yard. The kitten? Look at how cute he is. Look at that white stripe down his back. Isn't he cute? Coach, be careful. That's a wild animal. And not just any wild animal, a skunk. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure this is a kitten. Oh, no, Coach, the best thing you can do for a wild animal is to leave it alone. It's not that we're being mean. It's that it might get sick on human food or we're taking it away from its home. Oh, I think you're mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's a kitten if he eats potato chips. Oh, gosh. Coach, just make sure you take a shower after, okay? What? Bye! Bye. <laughs> silly, silly Ellie. She doesn't understand. <laughs> what are you doing? Why aren't you eating your potato chips, huh? Huh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, stinky, naughty, stinky. Oh, yeah, no, she was right. She was right. Oh, yes, you are a skunk. Yes, you're a stinky skunk. Okay, you can go back out there. Go. Go frolic with all the other skunks. I hope there's no other skunks. Oh. Ellie, you were right. You were right. Get the tomato sauce again. Hey, Coach Rocco, want to come to the mailbox with us? We're going to go see if those energy-efficient light bulbs you ordered already got here. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'll meet you there in my car. Hey, Coach Rocco, why don't you go take a scooter or a bike? I mean, it'll be good for your health, and it'll also be good for the environment. Yeah, true, and the mailbox is just down the driveway. Uh, I don't know. I've never ridden a scooter before, and I, I watch you two scooting around, and it looks dangerous. I'll just walk. No, 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 no. You can take my scooter and my helmet. And Jimmy here can teach you how to ride it. It's super easy. And trust me, it's a much better choice than taking the car. All right, Coach Rocco, Jimmy's scooter school is in session. Step number one to riding a scooter. First, you gotta plant one foot on top of the scooter. 
Then you gotta plant the other one on the ground. And when you're ready, give yourself a little boost and push. You got this, Coach Rocco. Oh, 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 oh look. <laughs> you're doing it, Coach. I'm <laughs> well done, you guys! Yeah, nice job, Coach Rocco. <laughs> See, Coach Rocco, just because you didn't choose your car, you've already taken one step towards a cleaner Earth. Our Terra Science project is complete. We're getting really, really good at saving the environment. I'll say, yeehaw! How about a race? <laughs> Coach Rocco, don't go so fast. Yeah, and you're going the wrong way. Coach Rocco, watch out for that. Oh, oh yikes. That one hurt. Ants. <laughs> This is exactly how clouds make it rain. I'm making a mudslide. <laughs> that water was supposed to be for the plants that we're planting. Oh, I forgot about that Earth Day homework. Hey, why do we need to plant new trees anyway? Look, there's tons around here. Well, sure, there are tons of trees around here, but did you know that we're cutting down lots and lots of trees every year? More trees than we're actually planting. So it's important that we start to plant trees every year as well. And did you know that trees help clean our air by breathing in carbon dioxide, which is bad for the environment, and breathing out oxygen, which is good for us. <laughs> and fun fact, there are more trees here on Earth than there are stars in the sky. Wow, I guess trees are pretty cool. Hey, do you have any extra seeds for me? Oh, sure do. Come over here, I have a hole I dug right next to mine. Awesome. Just for you, Jimmy. All right, all you have to do just bury your seed. Oh, but first, let me give it a little bit of that Jimmy magic, you know, before I plant it. Here comes the Jimmy seed a -rooney. Just let me put my basketball on my seed first. That way I'll know it's mine. Stay right there, Mr. Seed. Don't you start growing on me. We're gonna get you some water. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy! I told him not to leave his basketball laying around. Now, where am I gonna plant this little beauty? <laughs> hey, well, this is a good spot, huh? Now, that'll help you go grow nice and tall and strong. <laughs> Whoa! Ellie, check it out! My little seed! It's a tree already! Oh, I can't believe this! I told you I had mad Earth Day skills! Oh, how is this even possible? This must be some sort of miracle! Yeah, a miracle! Jimmy's Earth Day miracle! I like the sound of that! <laughs> Draco? Guess what, Coach? I just planted a super seed. It went from a seed to a whole tree in like two minutes, all thanks to my expert planting techniques. <laughs> that sounds great, Jimmy. I'm so glad you're enjoying Earth Day this year. <laughs> Here, I have a new Earth Day activity for you. I'm taking all the rotten food out of the fridge and making a big compost pile out of it. Compost? All I know about compost is when you take all the food that's about to go bad, pile it up in your backyard for all the worms to eat, and they turn it into nutritional food for plants. Compost! Exactly, Ellie. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely compost. Oh, you got any food for me to sample? Oh, Coach Rocco, why are you tasting all the food to see if it's going bad? Wouldn't it be easier to just smell it? Well, that's one way you could do it. <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, I'm almost done here in the fridge. Why don't you two run upstairs and see if you could find anything else we can add to the compost? Okay, that sounds fun. All right, everyone. If you want to see what we can find in my bedroom, then make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Come on, Jimmy, let's do it. Bet you can't beat me upstairs. 
Compost. Definitely compost. Okay, so I was looking online to see what exactly is compostable. And it turns out there's a lot of things other than food that you can use to make compost. Okay, so you can't use things like metal or plastic, but you can use things like scrap paper from your arts and crafts. Ooh, Q-tips and cotton balls. And this is the coolest one. Even balloons. Balloons can even be made for compost. All right, I should be all good for composting. Look, it's me, the trash man. Whoa, did you know that toilet paper is compostable? Compostable? Compo ready for the compost pile? And we have so much of it in the bathroom. We hit the jackpot. Well, I didn't know that, Jimmy. But we probably shouldn't be using things that we need. And Coach Rocco's going to get pretty mad at us if we compost this toilet paper. Hmm, I guess you're right. Well, what can we compost instead? How about this old dress? That's definitely compostable. What about this old bear? No, we can't compost Sparkles the bear. He sleeps with me every night. And we can't compost all our clothes either because we wear them every day, Jimmy. And by the way, why are you looking just in my room? I'm sure there's plenty of compostable things in your room. Well, here's the thing. I already went through my room and I can assure you there is nothing to compost in there. I'm clean as a whistle. Oh, I gotta see that. <laughs> no, Ellie, come back. I'm telling you, there's nothing compostable. See, what I tell you, there's nothing to compost in here. It's perfectly clean. I just forgot to make my bed this morning. Hey, look, my basketball. That means it's time for a very special Earth Day Spinneroony. Whoa. Perfectly clean. Well, I guess there's nothing to compost in here after all, Jimmy. That's quite a shame because I thought that you were the Earth Day expert and that you would have much more to compost in here than I thought. Huh. Well, I guess there is one more place I could check. Behind the bed. What about this? Oh, a chicken wing. Mm, all right, I think that can be composted. Oh, what about this from last night? Oh, a pizza box is actually perfect. Oh, pizza box, that reminds me. I have one piece of pizza left. Oh, how old is that thing, Jimmy? <laughs> huh, it's either the pizza from last night or from last month. I don't know. Have anything else? This Earth Day has been so good so far. Jimmy has really stepped it up this year. Not only have we learned how to help the environment, but we've also cleaned up a bunch around the place. <laughs> and to celebrate, I baked this delicious apple pie. <laughs> Ooh, that looks so yummy. Oh boy, more compost. My beautiful crispy apple pie. Jimmy, that wasn't for composting, that was for eating. What's this I see here? A plastic bottle in the trash? You guys know better than that. You need to start recycling your disposables like Captain Earth Day expert Jimmy. Come on, I'll show you. I created a whole new system for the garbage that's sure to cut down on confusion. Listen closely. The paper goes in the green basket. The plastic goes in the blue basket. The bottle caps go in the red basket. The paper and plastic, when they're together, you know, that should go in the green basket, but only on Tuesdays. On Thursdays, it should go in the blue basket. Unless, of course, it's a leap year, then it goes in the red basket. Wow, Jimmy, great job. I am so glad you did this because we got all sorts of garbage that needs to be sorted out for recycling. <laughs> and since you're the expert, me and Ellie will leave you here to do it all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, and me and Coach Rocco will go back into the kitchen and make another apple pie, one that we won't be composting. <laughs> all right, Captain Earth Day expert, have fun with that. See you later. But wait a second, apple pie? Oh, that sounds yummy. Oh, oh. what was that system again? 
plastic in the green? I, I, the red! Oh no! Clear, come on in! You think he saw you? No, I think we're good. Good, let's do this. Boys and girls, this is such an exciting day because me and Jordan are gonna set up for our friend Jimmy's surprise birthday party. I just can't wait to see his face when he walks in the room and everyone yells, surprise! <laughs> He'll never see it coming. Yeah, that's gonna be the trickiest part because Jimmy's always saying how he can't be surprised. He told me the other day, Ellie, you won't be able to surprise me at all. Not even with a birthday surprise of Rooney. <sighs> Who is it? It's me, Coach Rocco, everybody's favorite coach. Clay, come on in. Phew, I was getting worried there. I thought that was Jimmy. Well, I don't know about this surprise thing. Jimmy hates surprises, especially on his birthday. And he's gonna be suspicious all day. That's why we need you to be our lookout for the day. Yeah, you're gonna have to distract Jimmy all day. Make sure he doesn't go inside this room and make sure you do anything you can think of to make that happen, even if it's a little crazy. <sighs> Distract Jimmy all day. I, well, I think there's a few chores I can get him to do to distract him. <laughs> all right, team, I got this. Coach Rocco's on the job. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Coach Rocco. All right, boys and girls, if you want to help me and Jordan set up this birthday party, give us a big thumbs up for good luck. We got this. <laughs> Is today the day? I think it is. Let me check. Yes, it's here. The greatest day of the year. Not the last day of school. It's my birthday. It's Jimmy's birthday. Best day ever. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's outside getting ready to wish me a happy birthday. Before I greet them, I want to show you something. Hello, Jimmy Nation. That's right, it's birthday boy Jimmy here, here to guide you through my best birthday ever. I wanted to film today, considering I'm gonna wanna remember it forever. All right, everyone, here comes the birthday boy. Hello, I'm awake. I'm sure they'll be here in no time. Oh, hey, Jordan. I didn't realize you were coming over today. Hi, Jimmy. Yep, pretty big day today. Ellie's helping me with a school science project. You know how hard science can be. Hey, you wanna help us? <laughs> that would be a big no thank you, as I'm sure you're aware I have much bigger plans for today. Okay, well, your loss. What could possibly be bigger than a science project today? See you later. Jordan talking about science stuff. Oh, I know. Ellie must have forgotten to tell Jordan that it's my birthday. That makes sense. I'm sure she'll remember soon and buy me a big old birthday present. Yep, everyone knows that it's the most important day of the year. Well, 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 look who I see. Ellie Sparkles. I bet you're extra excited to see me today, huh? Extra excited? Why would I be extra excited? I mean, I practically see you every day, Jimmy. Well, I wouldn't just call this any regular day. Oh, right, it isn't a regular day, is it? It's the big science project day. Oh, that reminds me, I have to go help Jordan with her science project. We're gonna be doing such hard science work today. Maybe we can hang out later after I do all this science stuff and play some Roblox. All right, bye, Jimmy. Huh? Ellie forgot Jimmy's birthday too? What's going on here? Why is everyone talking about science? All right, new rule. No more doing science homework on Jimmy's birthday. That is my birthday decree. You know what, I'm going in. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm glad I ran into you. I have something for you. Oh, finally, about time someone remembers. Thanks, Coach Rocco. Good to see there's still some sense in this crazy, crazy world. All right, I'm ready for it. There you go, it's pool cleaning day. I want you to take this and start cleaning that pool. I want it spotless. And when you're done with that, I've got a bunch of other fun chores for you to do. Chores? Today? Coach Rocco, do you even know what day it is? You can't do this to me. Is this some sort of joke? Aww. Wow. 
looks delicious. Mm-hmm. Time to get you out of there. Ooh, smells so good. Ta-da! We baked a cake for Jimmy's birthday. Yay! And now we're going to decorate it with orange frosting. Jimmy's favorite color. <sighs> smells delicious. Whoa, smells amazing in here. Oh, Jimmy, hi! Wait a second. Is that what I think it is? Might you be baking a very special cake for a very special someone on an extremely special day? Aw, oh, thanks guys, you didn't have to do that for me. What are you talking about? This cake? It's just a part of that science project we were telling you about mm -hmm. before. Remember? Yep, a uh, freshly baked science cake. Wait a second, science cake? Who bakes a cake for science class? Wait, hold on. You're telling me that it's a science cake and the frosting is orange, which happens to be my favorite color? Can you explain that? Easy. Uh, in science class, we're learning about how to make different colors from prime colors, but using food. So to make orange, we used... Uh, um, oh. Ketchup, which is red, and mustard, which is yellow. And as you know, Jimmy, red and yellow mix together and make orange. Ta-da! Ugh, that sounds like the worst cake I've ever heard of. Ugh, I mean, ketchup I could see, but mustard? You guys ruined a perfectly good cake. Oh, Jimmy! <laughs> there you are. I, I, I just wanted to compliment you on a job well done. That pool you cleaned is spotless. In fact, you did such a good job that I think I'll have you water the flowers next. Oh no, not more chores. I'd rather have the mustard cake. But no, come on, just let me have a piece. Anything but more chores. Oh. <sighs> Bye, Jimmy. Bye. That was close. Yeah, let's finish this cake. Yeah, oh, it looks so good already. day. I can't believe I spent my whole birthday doing chores. Jimmy cleaned the pool. Jimmy washed the car. Jimmy mowed the lawn. And on top of that, I didn't even get one lousy birthday present. Oh, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day in bed. Worst birthday ever. Hey, Jimmy. I got one more favor to ask. I promise it's the last one. Sure, coach. Why not? Since my day's already ruined anyway, may as well do some more chores. Come on this way. Oh, what can I do for you, coach? Oh, maybe do the dishes, wash the windows. Hey, Jimmy, want a vacuum? Come on, Jimmy, just right in here. Surprise! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys actually remembered. Of course, Jimmy. I mean, me and Jordan have been setting up these signs and streamers all day. Awesome, you got my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. We even got these super cool party favors. Party favors, oh, I love these. Wait a second, are those my gifts? Oh boy, oh boy. You guys did remember to get me everything on my birthday list, right? Ah, uh, well, even if you didn't, I'm sure I'll love whatever you got. Remember that cake, the one made from ketchup and mustard? It's actually just orange colored frosting. Oh, so it's not actually a condiment cake? Phew. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, so be honest. We surprised you, didn't we? Are you kidding? Me? Surprised? Nice try, Ellie. But you can't pull one over old Jimmy, especially on my birthday. So you knew the science project wasn't real? Oh, of course I knew that was a bunch of baloney. Who does science on Jimmy's birthday? 
what about all the chores Coach Rocco had you do? Oh, oh, yeah, well, I was just kidding for those, too, you know. I just cleaned the yard because it was fun, and like, it's important to give back on your birthday. Anyway, let's dig into this. Wow, real nice of you, Jimmy. Ooh, I love this one. Look at the bonus. Amazing birthday. Amazing birthday. Put a hat on. Which is the biggest one? <laughs> Butters. Come out, come out wherever you are. Where is that cat? Oh, Butters, delicious cookies here. Where is that cat? I thought I saw him just a little while ago. Uh, he's probably just hiding like most cats like to do. Hey, do you have a favorite toy or something we can use to lure him out with? Good idea, Coach. You know I've been training Butters to walk on a leash. Hey, Butters, you want to go for a little walkie? I have an even better idea. Hey, Butters, if you come on out, I'll teach you how to do the Jimmy spin a -rooney. Oh, no, no, no spin a -roonies. The last time you tried to do that, Butters got so scared he ended up on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should try that again. You know, it was really difficult to get him down the first time. Well, hold on. Let's get one thing straight. The only reason that Butters jumped on the roof was so he could get away from your yucky kitty cookies. Look, another thing. If Butters did jump on the roof again, I would just rescue him heroically, just like I did last time. You rescued him? <laughs> you have quite the imagination, Jimmy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course I rescued Butters. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh no, Butters, how did you get up there? Come on down. Oh, quick guys, I need some help. Come down, Butters, come on. Butters is stuck up on the roof. Oh, don't worry, Ellie, I'll save him. Now, Jimmy, I'll handle this. I'm the adult here. Here, hold these cookies. Ugh, these cookies are no good, even to a cat. They don't smell so good, that's for sure. Ah, there we go. Here, I could have the cookies now. Go, Coach, go! <laughs> no, I can't. What? What's happening? I just remembered. I'm afraid of heights. Oh. Come on, Coach Rocco, you can do it. We'll help you. No, yeah. no, no, no. Come on, Ellie, push. Come on, Coach. Go hey. get Butters. Hey. You're almost no, there. No, no. Butters is just going to have to stay up there forever. That's his new forever home. Oh, we need somebody super brave and super cool to come save Butters from the roof. That's impossible. Nobody's that brave or cool. This sounds like a job for. Super Jimmy! It is I, Super Jimmy. Stand aside, everyone. I'll save your cat. Activate Super Polite Powers! Ah, another successful landing. We hope you enjoyed your flight aboard Super Jimmy Airlines. Thank you so much, Super Jimmy. Butters, I will never let you out of my sight ever again. You really are the bravest superhero around, Jimmy. No need to thank me, Ellie. I'm just doing my job. I'm off to save the day elsewhere, Super Jimmy. Oh, Butters, you must be hungry from being stuck up there all day. Ah, huh? you like that? This is an eight-pound I smell cookies. Ah! Whew. Sorry, Coach Rocco, but those are way too icky for any cat to eat. I don't want to have to save Butters twice today, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? My recipe does need a little work. <laughs> Not only is Jimmy super brave, but he's also super smart. <laughs> well, you guys. Oh, go on, go on. <laughs> and everybody clapped. And that's the story of how I saved Butters the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you're sure good at telling stories. Activate super flying powers. Yeah, that was my favorite part, too. You can sure tell a tall tale, Jimmy. <laughs> Hold on, that's exactly how it happened. Wait a second, how do you remember it happening? Oh, well, well Butter's story isn't important, you guys. We gotta find him right now. Where could he be? Now, Ellie, I remember exactly how it happened. And it wasn't like Jimmy says it. I was in the kitchen cooking my delicious cookies. Ah, finally done. What's that smell? Are you baking an old pair of socks? Very funny, Jimmy. These are my famous kitty cookies. It's an old family recipe. Guys, come quick. Butters is stuck up on the roof. Is that Ellie? She sounds like she needs our help. Let's go. Don't worry, Ellie. I'll save him. 
Wait, Jimmy, I'm the adult here. I'll take care of this. As luck would have it, I was just baking my famous kitty cookies. It's an old family recipe. And I'll just use these delicious treats to entice butters down. Here, hold these, I'll get a ladder. Yum, these cookies are totally going to work. Yuck, this is never gonna work. Yes, it will work, you'll see. Super push, push. Am I helping, am I helping? What are you doing? Come on, Coach Rocco, I'm trying to quit you up there. Jimmy, stop that, I'm gonna fall. Coach Rocco, are you okay? Oh. Jimmy, again with your superhero costume. Now knock that off, we gotta save Butters. Don't worry, everyone, have no fear. Super Jimmy is here. Activate super flying powers. <laughs> I can't fly up there because I have a pebble in my shoe. Oh no, now we're really in trouble, Coach Rocco. What do we do now? Don't panic, don't panic. We still have my secret weapon, my famous kitty cookies. <laughs> Some superhero you are. Now watch and learn, Jimmy. Here, Butters. Here. Delicious cookies. There you go. <laughs> Does this kitty belong to you? Butters! Oh, I miss you so much! Coach Rocco, you really are a hero, aren't you? <laughs> wow, yeah, you turned out to be the real superhero after all. Yeah. Super Rocco, not Super Jimmy. And you know, I was too silly to see it at first, but your cookies are actually delicious. Oh, <laughs> thank you, it was, it was nothing really. <laughs> Three cheers for Coach Rocco. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> Now that, Ellie and Jimmy, is how I rescued Butters. Ha! Ah, you obviously don't have too good of a memory because everyone knows that pebbles in the shoe are not Super Jimmy's secret weakness. It's chores, everyone knows that. Did you even read The Adventures of Super Jimmy, issue 48? Okay, you both have had your versions of the story told. Now it's time for mine, the truth. This is how Butters got saved in the end. And it goes like this. Oh, Butters, come on down from there. Whoa. Quick, guys, I need your help. Butters is stuck up on the roof. Oh, don't worry, Ellie, I can save him. I'm the adult here, Jimmy, let me handle this. As luck would have it, I was just baking my famous kitty cookies. It's an old- Cookies? No way. This is a job for Super Jimmy. Would you cut it out with the superhero costume? Let me handle this. Here. Hold these cookies a second, I'll be back with a ladder. But you guys, I already have a plan. <laughs> All right, just hand me the cookies. Uh, 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 leave it to the superhero, please. Thank you very much. Super Jimmy, and this is his changing song. Jimmy, would you not get off with the costume? We gotta get this cat down. Activate super flying powers. Ow! Oh! Pebble in my shoe. I think there's a pebble in my shoe. <laughs> Some superhero, let the adult take care of this, please. No. It's very high. I'm afraid of heights. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were the adult. I knew this would happen. Time for me to take care of things. Come here, Butters. Three, two, one, jump! Good job, Butters. Your training has really been paying off. You got him already? Oh, if you had given me five more seconds, I definitely would have flown up there and rescued him. No, he's hungry. Here, have a cookie, kitty. Yeah, have ah! ah! That's the real story of how Butters got saved. What? Actually, that sounds pretty accurate to me now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I know what I was thinking of. I was thinking of a different time when Super Jimmy saved the neighbor's cat from the roof. Just mixed up my kitties, that's uh. all. <laughs> oh, Butters, I changed the recipe to the kitty cookies. Come and have a taste. Well, he's not gonna want it if they smell like that. I know I don't. But what is he gonna wanna do, play spin a -rooney all day? Yeah. No, cats hey wanna guys, nosh. Hey guys, look, I found Butters. Hold on a second, Ellie. Cats wanna nosh, they wanna take naps, they wanna play with yarn, they don't wanna get squashed by a big basketball. Hey, Butters, Come on, Butters, really let's go really leave these two alone. Wanna cook? No. Oh, yeah. I'm the envy of all the kids in school. <laughs> In your world, but you're delusional. Cats, they want to play with yarn. They want to hide from their split. <laughs> oh, Super Jimmy.
super spooky, wasn't it? It really was. I'm glad I was watching it with you guys. I don't think I could have watched it by myself. What do you think, Jimmy? Were you scared? Scared? Me? No, this is Jimmy you're talking about. I'm the bravest kid in school. I could have watched that movie by myself with the lights off in the middle of a haunted house, and I still wouldn't have been scared. So why are you all wrapped up in a blanket? <laughs> um, well, funny story about that. I'm just I'm getting a little chilly, you know? It's getting cold out. Oh, Jimmy, you know it's okay to be scared, right? Me and Jordan were scared too. You two are crazy. Just because you're a couple of scaredy cats doesn't mean that Jimmy is. Guess I'm just built different. Can't be scared. In fact, I challenge you. I predict that no matter how hard you try, you will not be able to scare me. <laughs> a challenge, huh? What do you think about that, Jordan? Bravest kid in school? We'll see about that. You're on, Jimmy. <laughs> Good luck, but I'm telling you, it's impossible. I've never been scared before, and I don't plan on starting now. Hey, kids. <laughs> uh, popcorn, anyone? This is gonna be easier than we thought. Oh yeah, for sure. Boys and girls, if you wanna see if Jordan and I can give Jimmy the scare of his life, give me a big thumbs up. Coach Rocco, are you eating the popcorn that fell on the couch? Uh, yeah, five second rule, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's Jimmy playing basketball as per usual. Perfect. So tell me more about this plan. We're gonna scare Jimmy. Yep, that's the tricky part. So while Jimmy's playing basketball, we thought we'd dress up like a ghost and try to scare him. Do you wanna help us? Um, yeah, I'll be the best ghost you've ever seen. You'll never hear Jimmy say he's the bravest boy in school ever. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, Coach. Here's the costume. Put it on. And while you're at it, why don't you work on some ghost noises to really scare him? Oh, yeah, like this. Moo, moo. <laughs> That's close, Coach. But it's more like, ooh. You kind of sound like a cow. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get those two mixed up. Okay, I'll go get dressed. This is going to be so much fun. Remember, ooh, not Moo. Good luck. Good luck. You got this. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Bye, Coach. Ah, nothing better than a little bee ball by the pool. And it's time for me to do another one of my patented Jimmy Spinneroonies. Woo! The crowd goes wild. They're cheering. They're applauding. They're <laughs> booing. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Where are those sounds coming from? They sound pretty spooky. Moo, 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 moo. moo. <laughs> stay calm, Jimmy, stay calm. If you stay quiet, he can't hurt you. Oh, of all the days to not wear my anti-ghost underwear. <laughs> it's working. Come on, Trucker, you're almost there. Jimmy really thinks that's a ghost. Oh my gosh, he's falling for it. <gasps> Fiddle sticks. I can't see anything with this on. I think Ellie forgot to cut the eye holes in this thing. Where am I? Oh! 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 Whoa. Ah! I knew it was you the whole time, Coach Rocco. Nice try, but everyone knows that ghosts can't swim. You really thought that I'd be scared of a silly little ghost? <laughs> if only. Well, I better help Coach Rocco out of the pool. You stay right here. Okay. It's like I always say, Coach Rocco, you just can't scare the bravest kid in school, no matter how hard you try or what you do. That's why, like I always say, bravest kid in school, bravest kid in school, bravest kid, bravest kid, and he wears the coolest hat. Bye, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, no, Jimmy, are you okay? Oh, Ellie Sparkles, I should have known it was you. Well, let's just get one thing straight. You did not scare me. The only reason I jumped into the pool was, was to help Coach Rocco. Yeah, that's right. He asked me for some swim lessons. You okay, Coach? All right, Jimmy, if you say so. But there's a whole day left to scare you to go. <laughs> scare you later. Okay, so our first plan didn't go too perfectly, but the second one is foolproof for sure. This plan is perfect. Let's go through it one more time. 
Okay, so I'm gonna text Jimmy and tell him that there's gonna be a Roblox tournament in my bedroom, which he'll totally fall for. Mm -hmm. I'll hide under the covers of my bed while you hide in the closet. Then, bam! We both jump out and give Jimmy a double scare. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I can't wait to see his face. Looks like Ellie and Jordan are in Ellie's filming studio. What could those two be planning now? <laughs> I'm gonna be Jimmy now. Boom! Ah! That sounds like Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> a double scare, huh? More like a double fail. <laughs> Good one, Jimmy. I'm gonna ruin their plans again. You just can't trick or scare Jimmy. <laughs> okay, and set. Let's go get ready. <laughs> Ooh, a text. Big Roblox tournament in my room, Jimmy. Come on up and play. Yeah, right, Ellie. I'm not falling for this one. Scare you later. Knock, knock. Is this where the big Roblox tournament's being held? Where is everyone? I sure don't want to miss that big Roblox tournament. Uh-oh. I sure hope nothing scary's gonna happen in here. That would be terrible. Guess I'll just have to... Ruin your plans! Ha! Found you, Ellie! Aw, Jimmy, I guess you found me. And I'm not done yet, because I know where Jordan's hiding, too. Come on out. Party's over, Jordan. Hey, Jimmy! <laughs> you just caught me enjoying one of my favorite pastimes, vacuuming. <laughs> I just love this little gadget. Gets all the little cracks and crevices. First of all, who vacuums a closet? Secondly, if you're in there, then where's Jordan? Uh -oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Jordan! We scared him real good. We took him down to Scary Town. Wait a second, scared? You actually thought that I was scared? No, no, I was just going up here to look for my basketball. It doesn't seem to be here. That's a balloon. That's what, uh, that's what tripped me up. Doesn't count. Rocco, Coach Rocco, just the person I wanted to see. Oh, you need help with your gym homework? Well, I guess you could kind of consider this homework. You see, Ellie and Jordan have been trying to scare me all day for absolutely no good reason. And I think it's time to give them a taste of their own medicine. Oh, medicine? No, that's not me. We gotta ask the school nurse. I'm just the gym coach. No, Coach Rocco, that's just an expression. What I need you to do is help me scare Ellie and Jordan. Here's the plan. I have a costume all set up for you in the kitchen, so I need you to go in there and put it on. Then I'll lure Ellie and Jordan into the kitchen, and once they see you all dressed up as a scary monster, they'll be so scared they won't even know what to do. Then we'll see who the real scaredy cats are. Oh, uh, Ellie and Jordan have kittens now? No, scaredy, that's just another expression, Coach. You, can you just go into the kitchen? Or I'll, I'll meet you there. Good grief. Ellie! Jordan! Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Oh, you know, it's been a long day with all that super funny scaring you've been doing, and I feel a little uh, famished. What do you say we go to the kitchen for a little celebratory snack? Sure, sounds good. Oh, it will be. Just you wait. I sure hope there's nothing spooky in the kitchen. That'd be just, that'd be just terrible. Ah! Look, look, it's a scary monster! It's a scary monster! Run for your lives! Run! Why aren't you running? It's scary! Jimmy, that's obviously Coach Rocco. Look! Yeah, Jimmy, if you wanted Coach Rocco to scare us, you probably should have changed his shirt. Yeah, Jimmy, can you go over this plan again? So we have to get medicine for their kitties, and then what happens after that? Oh. Wait, if that's Coach Rocco, then who's that? Run for it! <laughs> Silly kids, where'd they go off to? <laughs> hey, I love your shirt. Where'd you get that? Are you Coach Rocco from the future? Huh? Oh, I don't mind if I do. 
Come on. Oh, these are stale. These are stale. Throw those out. No, 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 no. Garbage. Garbage. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, Sparkle Squad. Guess who's here? It's Jordan, my number one bestie. Hey there, Sparkle Squad. Jordan's helping me throw the coolest celebration of the year. Coolest celebration of the year? Oh, I get it. You two are planning my birthday party. You know, you're a little early. It's still eight months away. But I guess it's never too soon to start planning for the biggest day of the year. Um, actually, Jimmy, we're planning for LOL, LOL Surprise, Surprise 707 Day. Yep, LOL is throwing the coolest party ever. You know, it's on July 7th. And if you turn LOL upside down, it turns into 707. I see you brought the box of party decorations. Awesome! It's the new tween dolls. Hoops cutie and freshest. I can't wait to open these up. Come on, let's go upstairs and start setting up. Do you need any help with the box? Oh no, it's not that heavy. Oh, don't worry about a thing. Jimmy's got it. I wasn't voted strongest boy in school three years in a row for nothing, you know. Thank you, Jimmy. <gasps> oh. Oh, okay. Um, see you upstairs. Yep, it's five floors, Jimmy. See you up there. Five floors. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom, or should I say the LOL Surprise party room. I've already decided to decorate. Awesome. This will be perfect for LOL Surprise 707 day. Hmm, I have an idea. What if we put some LOL Surprise balloons over here by the window? Oh, nice one, yeah. Where should we put the tween dolls? Hmm, I'd put Hoops Cutie in the middle and Fresh is right next to her. <laughs> that sounds great. Max! Max! Oh. Very heavy. Let me help you with that. <sighs> so, Jimmy, you're gonna help us finish decorating? It's gonna be a pretty fierce party. Yeah, and we can even watch the first ever LOL Surprise Day virtual concert starring that girl Lele. Thanks, guys. That sounds cute and all, but I got pretty big plans of my own, you know. Get that birthday party to start thinking about. Only eight months to go until the big day. But you know, your thing sounds fun too. Hey, maybe I'll see you around. All right, well you can come party with us anytime you want. So, you ready to start decorating? Totally. Boys and girls, if you want to help Jordan and I throw the fiercest LOL Surprise 707 Day Party, give me a big thumbs up. Ooh, what's in here? These tween dolls are so cute. Oh, Oops, cutie. Precious, oh my gosh. Our hair looks almost the same. Oh my God, that's so cool. This video is a paid advertisement for LOL Surprise. Go Traco, go Traco. Just the person I wanted to see. Are you busy? Well, I was just about to have some lunch. Perfect, you can help me out then. Ellie and Jordan are throwing a big party for 707 Day. You should see Ellie's room. It's filled with party balloons and LOL toys, and they're even gonna have a surprise virtual music concert. That sounds like some party. Do you think she has an invitation for me? Because I'd really love to go. No, 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 you can't go, because you and I are gonna throw our own party, and it's gonna be way better than Ellie and Jordan's silly little party. The best part is, we're gonna do a virtual music concert of our own. That's right, we're gonna be broadcast to the entire World. Entire world. Everything for our concert is all set up. As soon as I press record, you and me will be broadcast to the entire world. Wait till Lily and Jordan see this. All right, three, two, one, action. What's up, world? Today we're here to celebrate 818 Day. Uh, what is 818 Day, Jimmy? I'm glad you asked, Coach Rocco. 818 Day is one better than 707 Day. And to celebrate the occasion, I wrote a little song. Take it away, Coach Rocco. What's the greatest day of the year that everyone has been waiting for? 707. Yeah, what? No, no, 818 Day, Coach Rocco. 818. What day of the year has the biggest party with all your friends? 707. No! 818 day, Coach Rocco, okay? Got it this time, please. 
And what day of the year has the release of the brand new hottest toy in town? It's just 707? No, <laughs> Coach Rocco, 818 day is the release of the brand new Jimmy Basketball Rooney. But I thought we were gonna release the new LOL tween doll, is it? And what happens when you turn 818 upside down? Uh, it's, it's 818. It's, it's eight. See, you know, 707 is a lot cooler because it's LOL and then you flip it and it's 707. Huh? Why don't, why don't we go to Ellie's party? Ah. Okay, Jordan, so it's not exactly 707 day yet, but how about we give ourselves an early treat and unbox one of these LOL surprise tween dolls? Wow, look at the size of these dolls. It's different than the other LOL dolls. Yeah, you know what, that's right. Because they're a bit younger than the OMG dolls, but older than the LOL dolls, so they're right in between. You know, they're in between who they are and who they wanna be. Like Hoops Cutie here, when she was younger, she used to play a lot of basketball, but now she's more interested in basketball fashion. Or Freshest. She loved listening to music when she was younger, but now she wants to make her own fresh beat. <laughs> and LOL surprise tween dolls wouldn't be LOL surprise dolls if they didn't come with a bunch of cool surprises. This one comes with 15 surprises. Yeah. I can't wait any longer. Let's open these. She's so cute. <gasps> Whoa! Check her out. Oh my goodness, oh my we're pretty gosh. much matching with the hair. I love her hair and it's so soft. So and her hair's awesome. Wow. And look at her outfit. It's so cute. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what we can unbox here. Hmm, looks like something soft, maybe? Oh, it's pink and orange and, oh, look you guys, it's a jacket. How cute is this? <laughs> it looks so good together. All right, let's keep opening up some surprises. Right here. You have a this or that book. Let me give you a little this or that quiz. Would you rather have sneakers or heels? Sneakers. Good answer. What does yours say? Kitty cats or puppy dogs? Oh my gosh, that's the hardest one ever. Oh, I gotta say both. <laughs> These are so much fun. Ooh, and it's got a play set in here. It's a bedroom. So there's the bed, and there's a bookcase on the other side. And there's little surprises in the playset as well. Let's open these up. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, <gasps> I got hair accessories. They're wow. super tiny. Uh, oh, this one feels big. I got, <gasps> I got a ton of accessories. Wow. I got sunglasses. Basketball earrings? A comb? A, a bracelet or a necklace? Oh, it's a necklace and it has MVP on it. Oh, and a cell phone? And a cell phone. And she's searching up shoes. It's gold on the back. <laughs> and it's gold on the back with a basketball sticker. So cool. Here you go. go. <laughs> Hoops, cutie, looks so cool. Let's see, are there any more surprises in here? I think so. It's right in the bed. <gasps> Whoa. Pull this out? Mm-hmm. Whoa, okay, there's more. Uh-huh. I got a bag, I got a basketball bag. A basketball Isn't it so bag. cute? Oh my gosh, it's pink. It's pink, and it's gold. There we go. She's got her cool new bag. <laughs> I have one more surprise, I completely forgot. I got shoes too. Check out my shoes, Jordan. Oh wow, I love those. Okay, here is Freshest with her fanny pack on. I think that's it with all the surprises, but there's just one more surprise that we haven't even covered yet. It's the bedroom playset. <laughs> so, the box is also the bedroom. And the box with some of the surprises, furniture for the bedroom. So she can be asleep on the bed, or doing her homework, or it can be a chill space, or a bookshelf. 
This is so cool. Oh, I know, right? I love her room so much. I need to decorate my room like this. It's so Me cute. Me too. They're so fashionable and they're so cute. And they're figuring out who they are, which is really, really cool of them. Her hair is so cute. I love her afro. I'm going to give her a break. Mm, I wonder what Freshness would look like with her hair completely out. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool with the black and the blue mixed together. Totally. Ooh. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Coach Rafa, what's up? That's fine. I will. Ellie, do you happen to have any extra tickets maybe for the LOL Surprise 707 Day Party for Coach Rocco and me? Um, I don't know. Jordan, do we have any extra invitations? For these two? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the LOL Surprise 707 Day Party, the fiercest celebration ever. Yes, we did it. High five. Ooh. Oh, Jamie, you would love Hoops Cutie. She loves basketball and she has these super cool hoop earrings. Wow. I mean, basketball earrings. <laughs> yeah. These are pretty stylish. <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon! Wow, nice shot, Ellie. But uh, your form is a little off. Let me show you how a real basketball expert does it. <laughs> Time for the Jimmy spin a -rooney. Scooter race? Yeah, why not? <laughs> You're on, Jimmy. Nice try with the ball, though. Ugh. Hey, no fair. <laughs> Wait a second. Isn't that Coach Rocco? Who's he with? Huh. I think that must be his mom. He told me she was coming up for Mother's Day. Awesome! Coach Rocco's mom is here. I have to meet her. She must be just like Coach Rocco. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you want to meet Coach Rocco's mom, give me a big thumbs up. Woo! Hey, wait a second. What about our scooter race? Ellie, you know, this doesn't count as a head start. Hey, Mama, thanks for coming over to visit. I'm going to make this Mother's Day the best ever, just for you. Oh, thank you, Rocky Poo Poo. Now, why don't I fix us a nice snack? You're looking a little skinny. Oh, Mama, I'm fine. You must be tired after your trip. Why don't you go in the TV room and relax? I'll be right there. OK, anything for my little Rocky Poo Poo? Ooh, a TV room. I wonder if there's cartoons on. You just go in the TV room and put your feet up. I'll be right there. Hey, Coach Rocco. Hey, was that your mom? Oh, yes, that's good old Mama Rocco. Now, I'm so glad I ran into you two. I need a favor. All right, just name it. Well, I didn't have time to get a Mother's Day present, so I need you two to stay here and entertain Mama Rocco while I run to the store. I promise I'll be quick. Sounds easy, right, Jimmy? Yeah, sure. So what does Mama Rocco like to do? Play a little basketball? Maybe Roblox? Ooh, how about a scooter race? No, she doesn't know anything about Roblox or computer and even less about scooter races. How about some safe activities like cooking or scrapbooking? Ooh, you're now you're talking my language. I love to scrapbook. I'm gonna get all my arts and crafts together and we'll have a nice time in the living room. Sure, and while you're doing that, how about I make a nice big Mother's Day lunch for everyone? How about my world famous peanut butter and jelly tacos? This is some TV room. Ooh, the lights. Oh, and a camera? Is this thing on? Hello out there. It's me, Mama Rocco. <laughs> Hi, Mama Rocco. Nice to meet you. I'm Ellie Sparkles. Yes, I know Ellie Sparkles. My Rocky Boo Boo's always talking about you. <laughs> awesome. Well, I have some scrapbooking materials and some other arts and crafts in my bag right now, and I was wondering if you wanted to go play with me a little bit. A scrapbooking? <laughs> that sounds like something you do with your grandmother. <laughs> um, what are you doing here? Couldn't we um, make a YouTube video or something? <laughs> yeah, lucky for you, we are in the Ellie Sparkle Studio. This is where I film all my YouTube videos. So this is where the magic happens. I love it, these lights, this backdrop, this camera. 
Mama Rocco's dance party. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Hey, why don't we try out a video? You know, just have a little practice. Lights, camera, and action. What's up, Sparkle Squad? What are you up to today? Because I am going to be dancing with my new friend, Mama Rocco. And this is Mama Rocco's dance party. <laughs> Hello all you boys and girls out there. This dance is called the Mama Rocco cha cha Chuni Twistaroni. <laughs> all right, and take it, it away. It goes a little something like this. Cha 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 cha. And back and back and forward and kick and kick and kick and twist. <laughs> All right, now see if you can do it, Ellie. And cha 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 cha, and back and back and forward and forward and kick and, and a kick. twist, yes. And a twist. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a hit. <laughs> Welcome to Chef Jimmy's kitchen. I got the toast in the toaster already, and the orange for the juice right over there. Come with me, and I'll show you how it works. All I gotta do is put this orange on top of this here, squeeze a little bit, and voila, we'll have a full glass of juice. Let's try it. Huh? Is that all the juice you got, Mr. Orange? What a letdown. Oh no, the toast! Hot, hot, hot! Uh-oh. I hope Mama Rocco doesn't mind her toast a little bit well done. I got an idea. I'll cover it with jelly. That way, Mama Rocco will never be able to tell that it got a little bit burnt. Oh, no! Perfect. Good as new. Wait a minute. Is this jelly or hot sauce? Uh-oh. I sure hope Mama Rocco likes spicy food. Ooh. Something smells delicious in here. It smells like uh, burnt. It sure does smell uh, interesting in here. Hey, Jimmy, need any help cooking? No, 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 no. The Chef Jimmy lunch a special is all done. One piece of toast, burnt to a crisp, and with a little bit of spice, just how you like it. Oh, so you're Jimmy, the kid with the orange shirt and the orange cap. I didn't know you were a chef too. That's right, and you're about to find out just how good of a chef I am. Mama, please, let me get you another piece of toast. That one's just a little bit overdone, maybe. Nonsense, it looks delicious. Besides, I love my toast extra crispy. Are you sure? It may be a little bit too spicy, too. Mmm, oh, crispy, just like I like it. Mmm, <laughs> and spicy, whoa! Water, please, orange. So good. I got juice. More, if you need it. more. Okay. <laughs> so, what other activities do you have lined up for Mama Rocco today? <laughs> um. Well, we have basketball, and we also have scooter races, and we have oh. Sounds like a gas. Let's get to it, kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, Mama, are you ready for the big scooter race? First one to the bottom of the hill wins. I'm always ready for a race. <laughs> are you sure you're ready, Mama Rocco? Have you ever ridden a scooter before? Scooters? I've been riding scooters since I was a little girl. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you and Jimmy just how to do the Mama Rocco Scooter Rooney. <laughs> All right. Okay, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Ooh, 
Oh, Allie, oh, thank God. It took me longer than I thought to find the perfect Mother's Day gift. <laughs> Where's Mama? She must be exhausted after all the arts and crafts, right? Oh, no, she doesn't seem tired at all. In fact, she did so many things today. She played video games, started a YouTube channel, and even ate all the spicy toast that Jimmy made for her. Your mom's really fun to hang out with. Mama did what? Where's Mama now? Oh, well, she's on her scooter racing Jimmy right now. See, they're so close. Oh, no. Mama, you're going to hurt yourself. Jimmy, I told you no races. Mama, 